So this is the test bed for each of the Hall effect sensors. How do they each react as a magnet is brought to bear? So I'm going to start with a 49E, which is an analog output. So as we bring the magnet close, the voltage increases. And then as we pull it away, the voltage decreases. So there's no clear cutoff there. But of course that could be useful, particularly if you want to find out the direction of the field. So swapping to the other side, you can see that as we bring that same pole closer, the voltage decreases this time. So, yeah, very interesting sensor, but not really what we're looking for for this application. So, looking at the U18, this time as we bring it closer, you can see that a voltage of around about 4.5 volts drops right down to zero. So that's a very definite digital output. You can also see in this circuit that there's been the addition of a 10K resistor between the output and VCC, which is necessary for um, these, this particular type to work. Uh, even rotating it, you can see there that you can go because you're changing the direction uh, of the field that it changes. All right, so this is a 3144, which is what I eventually settled on using for the circuit. And uh, like the U18, it, um, it's just got a binary output. So you've got four and a half volts and down to nothing uh, and you can see as you rotate it around also it has that same effect as the field changes so the first thing i thought was why can't i just have a light on or off and then use that so it didn't work with a 10k resistor which you can see to the side there with a 1k resistor yeah you get you get something happening but you can see that the voltage is um is quite low 1.62 and then down to zero. So a very thirsty circuit and not quite what we're after. So we're going to just going to have a look then at what the recommendation is. So this is the recommended circuit and you can see the four NAND gates there which we tested in another blog, they all work. So all we need to do is just hook up that circuit. There's the CD4093 in the middle and then all the different um, components the Hall effect sensor, the A3144 off to the side, and just an LED to indicate whether the circuit is active or not. So here the sensor is picking up that there is a field. We take that field away, and um, yeah, what ha actually happens is then is that that light goes on. So this is like an alarm circuit for a door or for a window, and um, when that contact is broken then uh, something happens, in this case an LED, but it could be an alarm or, or send a message via uh, text or whatever it happens to be. But that seems to be working working fine. Just thought I'd also, while I'm here, check out the commercial equivalent, which is also an A3144. Um, and this time feeding into an LM393 comparator. So it works, it, but it does use a similar amount of current and uh, well, I prefer the uh, the other version.